Now once I have my image looking the way I want it to, I'm going to slice it up. Now my slices allow me to go in and actually cut the pieces of an image apart so that they can be fit together into a web page later. This is how we actually used to develop a lot of our websites. Underneath the crop tool, and you can press shift C if you want, is the slice tool. When I make my slices, I'm going to be looking for large horizontal changes. Now, one way to kind of mark where those are in advance instead of trying to eyeball them is to use guides. To create a guide, select from your ruler. And if your ruler isn't on, you can go view, rulers. So click inside my ruler and click and drag to approximately where my major change occurs. And I can repeat this process again and again. Now once I have all my guides placed, I'll just draw with my slices as such. And if you have your default set so where you snap to your guides, it makes it a whole lot easier. Now my guides aren't following any specific size guidelines as far as height difference. I was more looking for an approximate uh, variation in left and right patterns. I want to make sure I avoid any concave areas such as in here, but otherwise I'm pretty good as with how I choose where to slice. Now all I've done is use the very scientific method called eyeballing it to figure out approximately where my left and right changes are. The more time you have for something like this, the more you can put into it if you want to go and do exact measurements or if you want to be looking for all the same height. Some places you'll notice are pretty tall, uh, where some are shorter. I'm looking for approximately, you know, one line height, one and a half line height, minimum height. Uh, but if it's taller, that's good because the fewer images to download, the faster I will download because I don't have to make as many requests. Once I've gotten to this point, I can go File, Save for Web and Devices. As a photograph, I'll probably find that I'll be better with a JPEG for all my slices. If you look at the JPEG, this is a medium quality JPEG, it is approximately 20K compared to approximately 83K for an 8-bit uh, PNG. So I definitely want to go with the JPEG in this instance. I'm going to choose Save and choose to save the images only. You'll notice the file name start with Trident Start because that's what the name of the file was. Choose Save. Now what you'll notice is when I go and click Save, I chose Save for just the images. And here I have a bunch of images, all starting with the name of my image that I started with. I could have adjusted that if I wanted to. Next step will be to load these all into Dreamweaver.